thing to put on is the peel ply, um, which you can see we've done here. It doesn't have to be particularly that neat um, in the back, but make sure that you get any cavities like this uh, pushed down as far as you can, because this stuff, once it's under vacuum, can basically crush the part or pull it apart. Um, I like to make it nice and smooth on the front. That way you have fewer uh, ripples in the uh, epoxy layers. Um, and feel free to use this. Don't use too, don't go crazy with the tape, but it's there to keep everything kind of flat. Uh, so that we put on the next step, which is the flow media, which is what we'll be doing next. Okay, so we've kind of skipped ahead a little bit. Um, we put the green um, uh, media flow in here. Um, so we just basically taped it in, wrapped it nice and loose um, around the entire part. Um, and then uh, we went ahead and made our bag, which is pretty simple. You use this orange tape. Um, it's really sticky and tacky. And what you want to do is you want to really kind of rub it down and make sure that you get all of the any bubbles or warbles out of it as you're making your bag so um, and then we put the bag around and we now have our pump hooked up and it is pulling out most of the air it's going to take some time because it's a big bag and we had a very small orifice in which we're sucking the uh, air out from um, so Anyway, uh, we'll show you when it actually goes uh, down under vacuum. You'll see it suck in. Uh, the biggest thing to note is that you want to make sure that your bag is nice and loose everywhere because if it isn't and you, you're actually having parts uh, where the bag is stretching across, it will actually crush the part. So you have to be really careful of that. Get it in all the little crevices. Um, make sure it's going around all of the pieces or else it'll pull the pieces together and that's not something you want to happen. So uh, as it's pulling in a vacuum, just make sure it's uh, getting in all the places and that it's not pulling on the part any. And then if it does, uh, let some of the air in and uh, re-pull the vacuum again, making sure that you can get all of the uh, crevices and everything so that this thing can really push down on the carbon fiber when you go through the infusion process. So, so we'll get back when we uh, actually have it under vacuum and uh, then we'll start talking about how we're gonna do the infusing. So one of the things that you need to do is you need to use this uh, special tube, which is kind of cut in a spiral and that allows the uh, epoxy to leak out um, all along this tube. And what you do is you tape it to your part like this and then you wrap in the uh, other the 3 8 tubing which is this tubing here you wrap that in um, and then you clamp it off and make sure you clamp it off otherwise you're going to be trying to pull a vacuum on your part and it's not going to work um, and then you want that tube to go about halfway up your part where the uh, uh, fluid is going to start going in um, to uh, do the infusion so the fluid will come up this tube and it'll go in and then it'll start spreading through this tube and it'll spread down the part so um, and it's pretty important to placement what we did was we placed a um, our vacuum in the middle of the part and then we have two places where we have on each end where we're going to inject resin so everything will go towards the middle. So, um, so next thing is we'll show you when the bag gets vacuumed. 